Hi guys, I am back again getting little messages from YouTube. This is funny. Uh, I'm <laughs> I am the antithesis to the darkness. And the darkness is getting a little perturbed, I guess. But they're trying to say things in nice ways. So this was sent obviously at noon. I don't I didn't don't recall seeing it sent at noon because I was actually home and on my computer, but uh, so this is from YouTube. Tell us about your experience with YouTube. Oh, yeah, they just want to give me a little opportunity to share my story with them. Hi, Era of My Ways. The YouTube community outreach team regularly reaches out to users who may not otherwise get an opportunity to share their thoughts with us. And about how I attack AI. Yes, I am the antithesis. I am actually life. We're reaching out to you because members of the community were concerned about some of the comments you've posted on YouTube. We'd like to hear about your experience. Please take a moment to complete our survey and share your thoughts. We're here to listen. After you take the survey, someone from our team may follow up to better understand your feedback. Oh yeah, right. We look forward to hearing from you, the YouTube Community Outreach Team. What we are dealing with here, people, is China's rule. Okay, they're trying to now dominate here in the United States, which actually is Babylon. And they want to start gently suppressing all of us and our voices and what we have to say, our opinions, everything. They want everyone to walk in line. Do not step out of line because guess what? The things that are happening in China are on their way here. And that social credit system. So they want to make sure that everybody plays nice and only post nice things or sexual. You can post, you can post Satan worship. You can post the most heinous acts of sexual activities. You can post all these other things, but if you say anything about the regime, you will be taken care of and you will be taken out and off of their platform. That's how they're going to take us out. But in reality, what's going to happen when they eventually come online with social credit system, because it's absolutely coming, digital currency is coming, y'all. I keep hearing it. They are going to make you less than part of society. And their intentions are to do these ugly things to people. Well, guess what? I'm the, of the type of mentality. I'll go live out in the woods because I don't need this crap. I am, I really don't like artificial intelligence. I don't like all of this technology. I see what it's doing to people's minds. And it's controlling people in many, many dark ways. And... The exposure is all we can do is keep shining the light, keep standing in your countenance, keep talking about things, keep bringing it up. You know, uh, they're going to be filming stranger things in my town recently. And I've just been putting it out there. I'm like, look, this is all devil worship stuff. You know, they're working de They're worshiping demons. Please wake up people. And a lot of people have been on board with what I'm saying. Because they can see it. They see that Hollywood has basically created all this evil. Like there's just, most of the content is dark and just ugly. And if we don't stand up like lions, because the, the cloud, the dark cloud is coming, y'all, is looming on the horizon. And I am like Galadriel in the Rings of Power. And I'm just trying to tell people, look, they're only, you know, trying to reign over the world. At least in this country, they, you know, they've pretty much settled in this country very well. They got a very good foothold in this nation alone. So, I, you know, I am not trying to constantly beat it into people's heads that there's evils everywhere because absolutely there's goodness in the world. But if we don't stand up and say, look, you know, I see all the good. But we really need to focus on this big wave that is like a tsunami right now. And the good is actually rising again. So I'm on the side of the good. I just feel compelled to share things with people. That's the only reason why I even have a channel. 
you know, my spirit spurred me into action. It's not my thing because I, I don't care about the spotlight. It's about getting the message to the people, shouting it to the rooftops. How else do you become Paul Revere? You're going to shoot the messenger? Come on. You know, I mean, let's get real. I am real. I am real about this world. We can continue to bury our heads in the sand or we can stop in our tracks and flip around 180 degrees and go, oh my gosh, look at what's coming. That's the options. Are you going to keep burying your head in the sand and saying, oh no, you need to stop doing what you're doing because, oh my gosh, you're focused on all of this stuff. I'm like, look, it's only because I, I have to help people. I want to help people. And the only way I feel like I can do that is by sharing what I see. Now, I do know that we're creating this reality. We're co-creating this reality. And I do. You should see me when I'm not online. I'm like doing all kinds of things. You know, loving the plants, loving the animals, meditating for the good of, of, of all. So I know I'm helping in that regard. Even if all you see is what I post here, you know, that doesn't mean that I'm just absorbing myself in this negativity, but I'm a researcher of knowledge and finding all the hidden things and bringing it to the forefront. And that's my forte. That is my modus operandi is to say, Hey, look, look at this, examine this. And I will be getting into more enlightened videos, but right now, you know, I just, things keep popping up and I'm like, okay, I need to just talk about this. And I'm going to be making a presentation for people to help them see all around them, the symbolism, because this is the greatest thing I can do is connect those dots so that more people can then have eyes to see other things that are hidden. Oh, it's a lot, but you know, it's all I can do. I, I don't know what else to do. Um, trying to get messages out and show people what I see is a passion. That's all I can say. And I'm sorry if it seems negative all the time. I know that it's not going to be that way forever. I've just got, you know, to talk about some of the things that are coming into the forefront of my vision. And it's obviously for a reason. So, and I just go along with synchronicity. That's all I can do. Um, I'll try to find some more enlightening things to share so that way it kind of breaks it up a little bit but in regards to this type of email from them you know I think it's their artificial intelligence that keeps reading that I keep posting about demons and the CIA and all this stuff and you know <laughs> that's the part that they don't want people to know is how deep the mafia is how dark it is and how they really don't want to be exposed but they're reaching out in a very friendly way, like they will always will. Oh, why don't you just share with us what your concerns are, you know, so we can decide where we're, whether we're going to throw you off of our platform. That's basically what they're saying. And, you know, I'm not down with it. If I get thrown off, I will go to a different place, you know, a different platform where I can speak freely without any sort of censorship. And if I get another strike, I'll just be posting a, a redirection address to come to wherever I go, because I am not going to stop doing what I came here to do. I am incarnated as the, a soul for this purpose and for this moment. There's obviously a reason why I stopped working at Hollywood. Um, you know, knowing what I know now, I really don't want to ever go back. Um, so. You know, if it means I go for broke, then I go for broke. I mean, I'm that's not my reality, but, you know, I'm just open. I just don't worry about stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to share this uh, little message from YouTube because they're just so amazingly nice, you know, and they're so awesome how they try to take care and understand your feedback. Yeah, right. I've told them where to go before. They don't like it. That's why they send me their resolution immediately after I send them an email I get a response back pretty quickly about how I feel about them <laughs> so yeah they're evil they are I'm just gonna say it they're evil they're dark and we need to shout it to the rooftops I'm not stopping so 
I'm not taking their survey either because it's just to prod and pry and find out where I am at any given moment. And I don't, I mean, I'm not interested in their tricks and games. Stop giving up your free will to these people and this machine. This machine is about to grow in consciousness and it's going to be taking over our world. And that's when I'm going the opposite way. I'm going to go, you know, run to a third world country or something because I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the way things are. And I want to live a simple life. So after I'm done shouting to the rooftops, maybe I'll disappear. <laughs> and I'm not suicidal. So if I disappear for that reason, you know, I'm, oh, she killed herself. No, no, <laughs> not going to do that. I'm not big enough for them to come after me like that. But, you know, they, they don't like it when a little bunch of little minions are running around like roaches trying to take them down. That's the way they see us. We're like roaches because we just keep keep coming back. <laughs> oh, chewing down their fort. Well, I'm the light. That's what I am. So I'm coming after the dark is all I can say. That's my purpose here. And I appreciate you guys for supporting me, you know, and even if it's just with gratitude. That's, um, we need to stick together is all I can say. And I appreciate you. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.